good wound care and bandaging shortens healing times and reduces complications. You want to do it as quickly as possible unless life-threatening injuries are present. Chlorhexidine is an excellent antiseptic for superficial abrasions, and you can also use it on the skin and wound edges. You want to avoid dragging fur and other contaminants into the wound. The best way to clean out deeper wounds is to irrigate them with saline. This mechanically flushes away devitalized tissue and debris. Regular saline or 0.9% sodium chloride solution is best. Alcohol and peroxide have really fallen out of favor. Flushing using a 35cc syringe and an 18 gauge needle provides the optimal pressure to flush away contaminants and debris without damaging healthy tissues. Rule number one is cause no harm, so avoid needles near the face, eyes, or if, or if you're not well practiced in using syringes and needles. A squeeze bottle of saline eye wash is a good substitute if you have a wiggly pet, wounds near the eyes or face, or if you're not comfortable using syringes and needles. As you flush, keep the needle a safe distance away from the wound. Irrigate the wound copiously. When in doubt, do another round. It can take many rounds of flushing to adequately clean a wound. The wound in this video was then sutured under sedation. A reminder that first aid is really no replacement for proper medical care. Wounds needing stitches should be seen by a veterinary team right away. To bandage a wound, start by ensuring that the skin is dry. Apply wound ointment to a non-adherent dressing such as a telfa pad. A layer of cotton stretch gauze protects and pads the wound. Wrap it snug but not too tight, leaving the toes exposed so that you can monitor them for swelling and discoloration. In general, as you bandage a limb, you want to overlap each layer about 50% over the previous layer. Next, a layer of elastic bandage such as vet wrap or one with an adhesive like light plus will help to further secure the bandage and protect it from the environment. Elastic bandage materials can easily constrict, cutting off the circulation, so be very careful to not wrap too tight. It can help to first unroll the elastic and allow it to recoil a bit before wrapping it around the limb. You want to keep bandages clean and dry at all times and prevent the pet from licking or chewing at them using an e-collar if needed. Check the toes regularly for swelling and discoloration and change bandages about every 24 hours until adequately healed. Always consult a veterinarian with any concerns such as infection, poor healing, or more serious wounds like this one that truly do need medical care and sutures. Mm -hmm.